one game for the right to go to the NBA Finals. It is Game 7, and it's the Western Conference Finals on EA Sports. We are at Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Tonight, it's the L.A. Lakers playing host to the L.A. Clippers. Along with Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Lakers coming in. They have the home court here, always crucial in a Game 7, with the winner moving on to the NBA Finals. Now look, I think both teams are worthy of going to the NBA Finals, but the reality is that only one team will prevail this evening. And the way this series has gone so far, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes all the way down to the final shot. Finishing inside the paint on that one. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Los Angeles, they have it. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Leonard, Kawhi Leonard, two for two. That's what you want. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. And finishes strong. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Beverly into the front court, just getting started. Strap in for a good one here in game seven. Count the bucket for two. Strong finish, that's what you need regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. It's LA Clippers ball, Leonard. Oh, he's three for three to start this game from downtown. Nothing the defense is doing is making him uncomfortable. As an offensive guy, I love starting the game, finding my rhythm. Gets it in the right corner. James, his first effort, off the mark. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. To Leonard, from long range, had made his first three, but that shot off the mark. Stuffs it down with authority. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size, but in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bigs. 4-3. Can't connect. Clippers have got it. To Beverly. Patrick Beverly missed his first. That one goes. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Knocked loose. Clippers have it. And that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Clippers. Great look and vision. Chance here for LeBron. It's good. If you don't stand in his way, he's going to make you pay. Jay, what makes LeBron so special on the offensive end? Well, first and foremost, look at that frame. 6'9", 265 pounds with the agilities of a guard. He can blow by you. If he dips that shoulder, there's no way. There is nobody in the NBA that can guard that man one-on-one. -on -one. Leonard to Paul George. For three, he made his first effort, but not that time. Flushes it home. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the gate. To George. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Can't connect. It's no good. LeBron James, two for three now here in the first. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. 
you actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. LeBron into the front court. Shot clock turned off as they get a chance to build their lead. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. Deep three at the buzzer. One quarter down in this deciding game seven. Jay and I are back after this. It's the Western Conference Finals on EA Sports. Jay one quarter down. Both sides getting a feel for where this game is going. And when both teams are playing at this level, it just continues to reaffirm that I was excited to watch both of these teams play this entire week. It's been a solid game so far, but this has a chance to be a great one down the stretch. foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Is good. A three-point play, and with that, they go up by three. It's the Clippers with the possession now. Leonard off the mark. In the front court comes Rondo. He'll run the offense. This will be out of bounds off of Davis. Beverly into the front court. They're down three. Leonard. And the rebound taken down by the Lakers. Rondo with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. Lays it up and in. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. To Paul George. Beverly. Can't go down. Smothering defense. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. George not getting the bounce. LeBron with it up top. Lead stance at seven. Flushes down the slam. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Paul George to Beverly. Leonard. That's good D. Shot no good. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. To George. Leonard. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. And he makes them both. Lakers ball to Davis. Anthony Davis. Can't ask for much more. He's perfect. Five for five from the field. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Here's Rondo with it. 
Up six. LeBron James wants it. Gets it to go. Someone clearly missed their rotation. This offseason, I heard so many voices. Even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal. Talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy. And that's to be the greatest of all time. To Kyle Kuzma. A lot of contact. No whistle. Anthony Davis. It's like he's shooting into the ocean. He has not missed. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Leonard. Well defended. To Davis. Throws it up. Throws it down off the alley-oop pass. It's not every day that you see a 6'9", 265-pound freight train coming down the lane. You probably want to step out of the way. To Paul George. Leonard. No good. Across the timeline comes James. Lead is flushes down the slam. Jay, that's a strong connection. And it's always about the play before the play. Look how the eyesight was able to connect between two players. We call that an eyesight contract. Because when you have a contract that's signed, sealed, and then delivered like that, that's how great plays are made. Lakers down to four on the shot clock. Has a chance. Add two points to the board. A shot at the buzzer. It's good. Just as the horn sounds. Inching a little closer, but still down at the break. We are at it. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. Beverly into the front court, trailing by 14 to Leonard. Fires the three for the hot shooting night continues. That's his sixth three pointer of this game. And you got to give him a lot of love. He's been knocking down shot after shot. But what is the defense thinking? Do you want to play in this game? It's probably time you start buckling down. Rondo into the front court. His guys lead here early stages third quarter. Baseline drive to Davis. That's off of Leonard, out of bounds. Here's a chance from long range. Buries it on the catch and shoot. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Clippers have the basketball. George. Tough shot. He hits. Jay, when you break down Paul George, where is he at his best? He needs to be engaged. He needs to have the ball in his hands. He needs to be needed. And that's the biggest thing for Paul George. When he's the guy offensively and he makes those clutch shots, it re-engages him defensively. And that drives him to be the best version of Paul George there is. First try at the line, no good. He missed a pair of free throws to George. Davis, there's the toss. Bad pass there. Clippers have it. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Lakers have the rebound. To James. The drive. Right to the basket. Swings it. Double, 
Down to five. Down to four to shoot. Fires the three. Message received. Well defended. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Leonard. Off the mark. No good. Going to launch beyond the arc. Textbook defense to Paul George. Beverly cleans it up. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Over to the right side, Kuzma. To James. They'll get it down to Davis. Oh, nice find for the basket. Mm, I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. To Leonard. Let's it fly for long range. That's how you defend. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there, utilizing their fan. Flushes down the slam. Jay, they make it look so easy. Yeah, but it's really not that easy. And as a passer, if your pass is just a fraction too early or a fraction too late, that throws the whole playoff. The timing of this has to be impeccable. L.A. Clippers with the basketball. George not going down here. LeBron into the front court. They can get a two for one if they hurry. Tough-looking shot there, still gets it to go down. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Leaving no doubt, slams it down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big-time finish. Beverly into the front court. Trailing by 15. Leonard add another one to his total. That's now seven threes for the ball game. And the ball is finding him wherever he goes on the court. Man, that boy, he the best. Chance for LeBron James. Not that time. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning the ankle on that landing. Kyle Kuzma is going to get three shots here. A career 70% free throw shooter. First free throw is good. Second one's no good. One more coming. Get out of bounds. Last touch by the Clippers. Deep three at the buzzer. Time expires with the Lakers in command. It's Lakers ball as we start the fourth quarter. And this one, Jay, not totally in the win column yet, but with a double-digit lead, you have to like their chances. I love when I start seeing fans exit the arena so early in this game, and I hear people say, this one should be in the bag. Well, guess what? It's never a guarantee. You have to be careful not to slow down the pace of the game and take the air out of the basketball. You have to put your foot on the gas and try to win this game with a sense of urgency. Flushes down the slam. At this point, if it continues, it just may be good night, Irene. And some, ooh, I like that Irene line. There you go, Jay. And sometimes as a player on a defensive end, Ed, you need to draw a line in the sand. You have to find a way to change the narrative because right now the constant theme has been too many easy buckets. Jay, don't deny it. You're an old soul at heart. Yeah, I still don't know who Irene is. Though. Me neither. Huh? To George. Nice finish at the rim. 
That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Oh, emphatic slam. You know, it reminds me, Ed, of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. In the front court comes Rondo. His guys hold a commanding lead. Throws it down. An easy two. Get back on defense. Beverly to Paul George. Beverly. That's off the side of the rim. Short. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. It's L.A. Clippers ball. George gets it to go. Coach cannot be happy with that closeout. I know he's a volume shooter. I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps. Might be time to adjust the scouting report, though. Start denying him the ball. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. George. And the rebound taken down by Kuzma. And you knew this game had a chance to get out of hand pretty quickly because of the communication. When these guys stepped on the court, Ed, they were yapping back and forth to each other. And that kind of communication, that kind of collective responsibility to one another, you feel that on the court. That's why this team is special. James into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. It's the Clippers with the possession now. Tough make through traffic. Just wait a second, Ed. Wait one second. Can we go back to the play before this great play that we just saw? Just because you have a bad offensive possession, you can't allow that to go down and reciprocate itself on the defensive end. One bad play does not make two bad plays. You have to bounce back. That's how you play this game. To James. Clippers have got it. Beverly. And the nice finish at the rim. Ed, sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. James. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Oh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. Free throws good. Add one more to the total. This game feels out of reach. To George. Leonard. He engulfed him that time. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Deep three at the buzzer. Oh, how about that? A three at the buzzer. And it's going to bring some icy stares from the other bench. This one is now.